I turned to my friend who invited me to this. Hey, motherfucker. <laughs> Did I just drive an hour to celebrate her cat's fucking birthday? <laughs> He's like, yeah, what's weird about that? It's a fucking cat. It's not conscious. It doesn't know it's his own birthday. We're getting fucked up for are you kidding? You could just ask him to drink, dude. <laughs> I don't. I drink when I feel like it. I don't even cast birthday as an excuse for my alcoholism, and he's chilling by UCF. And like, you guys will get fucked up tonight. Hell yeah, dude, grab the cat. The <laughs> fuck. I'm gonna do one more thing to get out of here. Uh, you guys ever? We all get in awkward situations, right? It's across the board. Here's one. You guys ever high five an amputee? Oh. <laughs> one that doesn't have a hand. Okay, I will die this level alone. That's cool. <laughs> I was at a concert with a friend, we got drunk, this is a true story, and we decided to start high five with strangers, you know, like drunk white dudes do. And <laughs> everyone, everyone was high five back, but this one dude brushed my friend off, and my drunk stupor, I'm like, who the fuck does the high five back hit Nickelback? So, <laughs> so I get his face like, huh? If you guys remember at the end of this joke, he doesn't have a fucking hand. <laughs> I don't realize that till he has posted up. So now I'm stuck. I've initiated the most awkward social inter social interaction you could possibly do with an amputee. I now realize because he knows I didn't know any of this, but like I realize that he sees that I see that he's an amputee, and he's like, "Oh, I got you now, motherfucker." You don't want to know what I did? I grabbed it. <laughs> Paper beats rock. <laughs> God bless this man. He was quick. He said, "Nah, bitch, I threw scissors." <laughs> Thank you very much.